This conference will now be recorded. Hi, thank you for joining me today for a short overview video on Sage Intact. My name is Tanya Eaney, and I'm with Alliance Solutions Group, and I'll be taking you through a quick tour of Sage Intact. We'll be talking about dashboards and how they give you visibility into your business, reports and how they give you insight, and workflow approvals, how they give you control on your business. Let's go into Sage Intact. You first notice, when you first log into Sage Intact, you'll immediately notice the user-friendly dashboards that it's known for. The user can log in through any browser of their choice, as Sage Intact is a fully web-based solution. Once the user is lo logged in, the dashboard that appears will be one that they've chosen. It may pertain project information, if that's their role in their company. It may pertain financial information. The, the dashboards can be role-based, and we can limit what access users have in the system, keeping project managers out of financial information if necessary. From this dashboard, they'll be able to access information that's important to their job, giving them visibility, visibility in what's going on on their projects, or if they're on the financial side, into the financial. This dashboard can be modified by the user using Sage Intact's dimensions. Dimensions are ways of tagging a transaction. I can tag a dimension to many different levels, whether that's starting at the top with a company or a department or even a project. I can even tag a transaction to a customer and a vendor. This would allow me to filter a report or a dashboard by any of those dimensions. In this example, I can easily filter this whole dashboard by a location or a company. This particular Sample database has multiple companies, so I could pick the company I want to look at and it would refilter this entire dashboard and provide me with information only on the Dallas location. Or perhaps I want to see all this information just by a particular project. This allows a project manager to start at a very high level and see all their projects and then drill down and focus on a specific project. Depending on the role in the company, I may see this product information or I may see more straight financial information if I was, say, a controller or an executive. This dashboard gives me a lot more financial information, showing me an income statement balance sheet, which another user may not have access to. From this dashboard, I can also get quick KPIs that I can create, giving me quick statuses on information that I find important, keeping track of general administrative expenses as well as my cash. Scrolling through this dashboard, I see I can also view charts as well as give myself shortcuts to different areas of the program I use frequently, and also view the company's chatter. Chatter is a unique feature to Sage Intact that gives me a snapshot of information that users have commented on throughout different transactions in the system. So as a user is reviewing something, like in this example, an accounts payable bill, I can make a comment that another user can see. Keeping this comment with the transaction so future users that are referring to it can view those comments as well. So many times we decide to send each other attachments via email, making it very difficult to find transactions that we get from users that we get so many transactions from on a daily basis. By making those notes inside of our software, we're able to find those comments very quickly without having to search through email. As I mentioned about multiple, com multiple companies, Sage Intact is also known for its ability to have multiple companies and consolidations. If I look at the, this particular company that I'm in, you notice I have a top level as well as individual companies. So for a company that has a lot of companies in its portfolio, it's very easy to switch between these companies as well as see a consolidated view of all those companies. In some systems, to switch or to see that information, it requires me to build external Excel spreadsheets. But with Sage Intact, I can easily switch into a different company, as well as stay on what we call the top level, which consolidates all of my different companies into one. Now, these dashboards provide me with quick visual information of what's going on, but to get the details, I can also access this right from my dashboard. So let's move on to talk about reports and getting in further insight in the business. So as a user is reviewing their dashboard and something piques their interest, they can quickly drill down to the data that's behind the dashboard. So by clicking on sales, 
Sage Intact takes me into a more detailed report. Now I can see that sales information in more detail. I want to know more about California's number, so I can click on this number here. And now it brings me into a general ledger report showing me all the transactions that make up that number. Now perhaps I want to know different information. This report started me at the beginning of the year. Maybe I only want to see it for a specific quarter. With this customize button, I can come in and change the parameters of time, perhaps even change the ranges of accounts that I want to look at. With some systems, I would actually have to go and run a different report, backing out of what I'm doing. But with Sage Intact, I can do that right here on the screen without leaving. While drilling into the reports is helpful and provides me with a lot of information, what if I want a totally different report that provides me with a different set of information? Well, I can do that right from here, too. I can drill right back into my report writer. Sage Intact's report writer is very user friendly. All reports are made up of rows and columns, and we've organized our financial report writer with easy steps as for the user to walk through to make changes to the report. Starting with rows, I can modify the detail that I see. So my income statement right now is very summarized. Maybe I want to see a little bit more detail by those dimensions. I can click in here and choose to expand by those dimensions. Right now it's showing me to buy department. Perhaps I want to see it by customer, knowing who is spending the most with me. Now I can preview that report to see what that looks like. And with just those couple of clicks of a button, I was able to expand my sales out by my customers. Just that easy. I didn't have to pay a consultant to write an re expensive report for me. I was able to make the customization on my own. I also can modify the columns that show up, how many columns I want to see broken down by what. Also the calculations. Do I want to see a percentage of a row by another row? I can also control who has access to view the report I created and how I wanted to access it. Do I want it to just be in a list of reports that I pull when I want it? Do I want it to be on my dashboard because it's something that's extremely useful for me on a daily basis? Or do I want to schedule it to be sent to users? Maybe executives would like to get this report and I'd like it to be sent out every Friday. I can do all of this for my financial report writer. So we've talked about invisibility through our dashboard. We talked about getting further insight by looking at our, drilling in and looking at our reports and being able to customize those reports to give us additional insight. And let's talk about controls and being able to control cash coming in and cash going out. I may want to make approvals. So with some systems, I'm able to enter in transactions, but a lot of times, again, those transactions have got to be sent around via email. Here's a copy of an invoice. Can I go ahead and enter it in the system? Here's a copy of something I want to purchase. Is it okay for me to purchase this item? With Sage Intact, using our workflow approvals, I can build those workflow work, those approvals into my workflow. Instead of me having to email or leave something on someone's desk, I can allow my user to request to purchase something. I can have somebody enter in accounts payable invoices, but allow me to review it to make sure it's coded and it's okay to pay. And I can further allow my users to enter in expense reports themselves and again, just review them and then select them to be paid. This workflow dashboard summarizes all the different approvals that are available for me. You see, I have several accounts payable invoices that I need to review and approve. Let's drill down into that list and take a look at those different invoices that need to be approved. I wanna look at this one, so I click on view. It brings up my invoice, giving me information that I will need to make a decision. When was the bill entered? Or when was the bill received? When is it due? How much is it for? Who is it for? Maybe there's even an attachment that a user attached so I can see the actual copy of the bill that my vendor sent me. Scrolling further down, I can even view where it was coded to, what departments, looking at all the different dimensions a user coded it to, as well as my chatter if I want to make a further comment on this to somebody. Finally, my last step would be to approve or decline it. Whichever choice I make, Sage Intact will allow me to add a note, which will be sent over to the user so they know if it was approved or declined.
these are just a few of the controls that we can set up inside of Sage Intact, allowing a user to control when something was paid and when something is approved. Let's return back to our dashboard. Before I go to my dashboard, notice I have many dashboards. And as a user, I can customize and set up multiple dashboards. So depending on what area of the business I may be focusing on, I can pick that dashboard to see that overview. Let's return back to one of our controller dashboards and take a look one last time at what a high-level dashboard. So from this dashboard, this executive dashboard, I'm able to see high-level information, drill down into that information, and set up controls to control when an expense is submitted and becomes an expense in Sage Intact. Thank you again for joining us for this short video on an overview of Sage Intact, looking at visibility, insight, and controls into your business. Thank you.